So this time around I'll be reviewing a book from the um, Tashin Bibliotheca Universalis series and uh, so this is the cities of the world from the um, Bibliotheca series. In case you do not know Tashin produces one of the best form of coffee table books you can probably get anywhere and one of the best series they have is the Bibliotheca Universalis series here as you can see it's called Tashin and this is part one of the books of uh, of that series it's a part of that series so this one has 230 color plates from of 1572 to 1617 so there you go so and this is edited by Stefan Fusel and uh, and has a foreword by Raim Kulhas <coughs> so this is the original book uh, is by George Brown and so try to get that George Brown and Franz Hogenberg and um, so it's a reproduction of that book these have plates so I'll give you the blurb here Let's see okay yeah Hopefully you can pause it and read there. I'll just open up the. So this is the book without the uh, dust jacket. So yeah, say cities of the world. It has a black ribbon marker, place marker. I have read this book around. Um, quarter way through I think yeah so that's how much I've read it it's basically a coffee table book I read it um, as a part of like recreational uh, reading in like when after dinner maybe so these are very interesting in the sense that these contain uh, uh, notes on how cities of the old world were I love the illustrations I'll show you a few so this is how it opens up and then so you can see there very nice color engravings so the the uh, the pages themselves are the butter pages I think they're called smooth ones so if you'll see it has for example this page has Leon's and then Bordeaux so here you get um, it's not really sure let me see if I can focus that uh says okay this is latin and i'm i do not know latin so i cannot translate that for you but these are like the pictures of the so these are the original plates by the way so these are pictures of the towns that are covered in the book the original plates this is how they used to look so let me see if i i, I had seen So this is Bordeaux is on 97 page 97 let's see so this should be Bordeaux I think so there are cities this is London yeah this is old London so a very interesting fact that I came to know from this book is that old London is apparently so London itself is separate from England in its it has its own laws apparently so it's a very old tradition and uh, so this is the original map of London and there are very interesting um, facts like this throughout the book scattered throughout the book and lots of illustrations so this is Avignon I think it's pronounced lovely book so there are like lots of illustrations throughout the book you will see them here this is I have no idea which is Hisalis. 
let's see, 540, no, it's Seville, so it says here Seville, I wouldn't have guessed it otherwise, so it's Seville, so this is apparently Seville, and then, so you can see, actual illustrations from the people who went on these expeditions and then gathered these plates and hand drew them and they are reproduced exactly as they had or appeared in the original editions and that is the charm of this book so it's replete with um, pictures which are old world pictures and this is specifically why the Bibliotheca Universalis series is so well renowned so it's full of illustrations and they are beautifully reproduced very authentic to their original source material personally I love this one but Bibliotheca Universalis series, are, series books are so costly that they take a like I have to plan a long time to get one if you do not want to pay a leg and an arm for one book so I waited a long time for this one to go on uh, discounts, even then it was not much, but I think I got it for pretty low. So this is the, I think the books in the Universalist series. And yeah, that's about it, Cities of the World from Bibliotheca Universalis. As always, if you have any questions, any comments, anything to say at all, feel free to comment in the comment section below. And yeah, happy reading.